We're here at a space gallery and talking with one of the artists. Her name is Nicole Pena. Nicole, I'd just like you to talk to us a little bit about your artwork, like this piece right here. What exactly is it that you're expressing? Okay, this piece is, um, this actually was inspired when I was in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. I was there this year for Carnival. And that was uh, Juve morning we went out and we all dressed out up in blue you know, masquerading in the streets, you know, at night. And that actually inspired me. The whole idea of being blue, that's where I got the, obviously, the pigment. And there was a lot of, like, it just felt really, like, kind of a haunting, in a way, like, blueness of it and the, the night the night mass. It was very really exciting for me. So that's basically where this came from, I think. You know, I, I just sort of, it's not literally based on that, but the, the colors came from that, okay. for sure. Yeah. And what do you work in primarily? Oil? Acrylic. I use acrylic, acrylic paint on canvas. Okay. Yeah. And the images themselves, as you said, were they because of uh, you were in Trinidad and the carnival atmosphere? That's right. But I do tend to do images like this. I mean, this is not really a step away from what I've done in the past. Okay. I basically like to do uh, people who are in, involved in some sort of dance, some sort of um, ecstasy where they're involved in a world, our world, but also their own world, like a, a sort of a psychic world, you know what I mean, where they're in, the, in, in touch with their, their bodies, in touch with their spirit, that kind of an idea. That's what I try to portray when I paint. Okay, and, and how long have you been creating your works of art? Mm, well, I've been, you know, I don't know. These particular pieces, this particular series, I've been doing for three years. Three years? Yes, but I guess I've been, like, been active as an artist most of my life and uh, been painting for the past, like, seriously for the past three or four years. Why did you choose to use acrylic as opposed to the many choices that artists can make in creating their work? You know, I haven't really thought about that too much. It's something I just started to use. I, I used to use oil paint. Actually, I paint a lot like an oil painter in the sense of the way I use my medium. Um, but uh, I don't know, I'm just sort of satisfied with what I'm using at this point in my career. I, I want to just sort of master what I'm doing now. Maybe I'll change my mediums later, but as it stands, this is... So you're pretty happy with what you're yeah, doing and that's what right. you're creating right now? That's right. I just want to keep on going and seeing where it develops in the years to come. Okay. Well, what is it that you want people to take away from them? Uh, well, I just want them to have a sense of what I'm trying to portray. And basically, from the shows I've done, people seem to sort of get it. Like, they, it's self-explanatory, you know. People are usually celebratory or, or involved in, like, um, like Baptist. I do spiritual Baptist, people who are involved in religious ceremonies. It's pretty clear what I'm doing. Um, I think my life, my works are really life-affirming. Uh, that's, that's basically... You know, like I, I'm talking about people, living people, um, people of African descent and the culture of African, people of African descent. You know? okay. So would it be fair to say that your work is sort of like a personification of yourself? Hey, I don't mind that. Yeah? Is Actually, that in a way, it's, there's truth to that. There is a lot of truth to that. A lot of the people that I do, I don't have models. I use my own face to model my, my paintings, for example. And my lifestyle is, you know, I'm pretty much of a, 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 an outgoing person. I go out a lot. I, I do a lot of different things. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Yeah.